What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana Luñez. So for today's video, I decided to do like a chit chat, life update, get ready with me. I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram and I also had questions from before because I had never filmed my updated Q&A. I went ahead and took those questions off of Instagram and I took the questions from my before post. How do I say that? Before post? Previous post. <laughs> I took the questions from my previous post and the questions I just got today on Instagram. And I did an updated Q&A as well as a life update. Before we get started, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also subscribe down below if you are new and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos, um, which again, I will keep you guys updated on my social media because I don't know how often I wanna be posting videos. Um, I think, I'm thinking more like beginning and end of the week. I'm not too sure. So comment down below if you have any suggestions on the days of the week that I should be posting. I'm trying to still get the hang of everything and timing and just getting my whole life like back on track. So yeah, but without further ado, let's get straight into the Q&A. Okay, so first question is, where were you born? Um, I was born in Berkeley, California, Altabates Medical Center or hospital, I guess. It's a pretty basic place. I know a lot of people who were born there. If you were born there, comment down below. Next question is, have you ever been caught doing something that you weren't supposed to be doing? Um, oh, I got caught cheating on one of my math tests in like sophomore year, I think, of high school. Um, I suck at math. If you suck at math, um, you're not alone. Don't worry, but I honestly hate math. I hate it. Next question, where are your mom and dad from? So I know in my very, very first Q&A, um, I mentioned that I was Mexican um, and my parents were from Mexico, obviously, but I guess to get into like more detail, I'm second generation Mexican-American. My parents were born here in the U.S. and their families um, are from Zacatecas and Jalisco, so my mom's family is from Juchipila. Zacatecas and my dad's family is from Jalisco. I am fluent in both English and Spanish, so um, so are my family. So is my mom and dad, so it's kind of hard to tell that they're not like born over there, I guess you can say. But yeah, that is pretty much in depth where my family is from. What's your favorite thing to order from Starbucks? Um, I love Starbucks. For those of you who have me on social media and everything, you guys know that I love Starbucks. I think Starbucks takes a lot of my money, but I really just don't care. Um, it honestly all depends on what I'm feeling that day, like how I'm feeling. I don't ever get iced coffee from Starbucks. I actually stopped getting coffee from there a long time ago. I used to always get the caramel fraps, um, but like my stomach just got super sensitive to them. So I stopped getting coffee and I kind of stick to like the teas and the refreshers. Right now, my favorites have got to be the strawberry acai refresher with lemonade. Acai? Acai? I, I don't know. But the strawberry acai refresher with lemonade and green tea lemonade with peach infusion are my absolute favorite things to order from Starbucks. Next question, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? So I actually got this question asked to me in class. In five to 10 years, I really don't know where I see myself as far as you know, like everyday living. I do want to own my own makeup studio. That is definitely one of my goals. And I plan on pursuing that goal. So I'm hoping that in the next at least 10 years, I'll have that set. As far as school-wise, I do just want to achieve my AA at least, even if that's not going to be completely what I'm going to do, just because school isn't really for me. Like, I'm going to be honest. I I don't think school is really for me, so I do plan on just getting my AA. That way I can have something to kind of fall back on. Yeah, that's pretty much what I hope to achieve in the next five to 10 years. How often do you work out and go to the gym and or go to the gym? I try to work out at least four times a week. Um, I don't work out on the weekends. The weekends I just, I don't at least four times a week, but I try to make it five. Um, I do it Monday through Friday and then I have specific days so I have leg days and then ab and then you know arms and stuff like that so 
yeah next question did your tattoos hurt yes my tattoos hurt but not like super bad um, I guess it all depends on how high your pain tolerance level is me personally mine is pretty high so it didn't really hurt until it starts to touch kind of a sensitive part so for the one on my arm um, once he got more towards the center it started to hurt a little more just because the skin and like the arm is like a little more tender on the inside so it started to hurt a lot more right there but other than that they didn't hurt that bad I plan on getting a few more at least and then stopping but yeah they didn't really hurt actually next question how many boyfriends have you had um i was young like when i first started dating so i don't really consider like any of that like a boyfriend i guess you can say i mean like we all go through that stage where we think it's super important like to have a boyfriend and to be in a relationship i've only dated about four guys but again, I was really young the first time, so I don't really consider like that dating, like a boyfriend wise. So I'm gonna say about four. I've had about four boyfriends, four relationships, not super long ones. Next question, what made you want to start doing makeup? So on myself, I actually just only started practicing because I was so into like I guess just basically mascara and brows and that was it actually like I wasn't really ever into makeup makeup until like December of 2015 I think I mentioned this in my first q and I started doing makeup on myself and I guess from there I guess I really just started loving makeup a lot more than I do now or a lot more than what I thought I would have, especially doing it on other people. On other people, it's so much fun. I freelance, so I know when I do someone's makeup and I'm doing a certain part of their makeup, like highlight, oh my God, I always make like the weirdest comments. I'm like, yes. And they're just looking at me and smiling and I'm like, uh, sorry, like I just, I'm weird when it comes to makeup, I'm weird. But I absolutely love doing makeup. And I guess it's just that, it's just helping people find their inner creativity and their inner beauty and you know, helping them find new products that they love and all that stuff, like it's just like, it's such a good feeling, so I think that's really what pushed me to start doing makeup. Next question. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Why is DJ so great? He's amazing. Follow him on the gram at TrapstarDJ. <laughs> um, those of you who don't know, I have a friend named DJ. I've known him since I was in fourth grade. We were in fourth grade. Um, he was new to my school, and he didn't have any friends, so I became his friend. He is such an amazing friend and shout out to you because I know you're watching this video you better be what's your favorite thing about doing makeup I can't read that or who inspires you the most my favorite thing as I've mentioned before about doing makeup is helping people find their creativity you know that before I started doing makeup I didn't really know what I was gonna do with the rest of my life um, I was so confused I was so like I don't know I was just like what what am I here for like what am I gonna do like school isn't for me like what am I gonna do with my life so basically doing makeup has just really really helped me find who I am as a person so that's like what I'm most grateful for the people who influence me the most I don't know if that question is like in terms of like family and or friends or just like celebrities or you know a person who's on a higher platform um, I'm gonna kind of touch base on all of them my family definitely supports me so much um, in doing makeup and making YouTube videos and all of that good stuff and I'm so grateful for that the person I look up to the most who is on a, um, a higher platform than I am would have to be Desi Perkins Desi Perkins is one of my absolute favorite beauty influencers the way she is just open to any question people have for her she's humble you know she doesn't really like hold back on anything so I definitely look up to her um, in terms of someone who's on a higher platform um, you know beauty wise so that's definitely one of my absolute favorites that was all of the questions so now that I kind of answered everything and touched base on that subject I'm gonna go ahead and move on to like the life update part of this video so pretty much in my life lately i've just been super like off focus i have been not necessarily lost but i've definitely been like 
contemplating every little thing in my life and whether it's going to benefit me in the future because if it's not then why waste my time on it now so i am back at school um, i am going to a community college around where i live um, i did take a semester off for those of you who don't know so i did a first semester after high school and then after that i decided to take a semester off just because it was getting a little too like hectic for me and my schedule and my work schedule so i was just like you know what like i'm just gonna take a break so i ended up going back this past week because school just started again and i'm actually loving being back um i missed it for a while you know school's not for me but i just kind of missed being out of the house on like a day-to-day -day basis i'm currently looking for a new job um just because as, again the job that i have is just it's not like it's not a horrible job it's not the worst job out there it just gets a little um, tiring and um little difficult to work my school schedule around my job I want to really try to find a job that will allow me to work my job schedule around school um, and as far as personal life I feel like I should share at least a little bit with you guys so I am going through a lot right now I'm struggling to figure out a balance in my life as far as when to make YouTube videos and just school and work and it's just a little hectic and I feel like I don't really owe anyone an apology in my life for how I'm feeling and the decisions that I make. I feel like everything that I'm doing is going to benefit me in the future and that's all that matters. At the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. Um, no one else is going to have your back like you do. At the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Um, I feel like this is just a part of my life where I have to kind of figure stuff out on my own. I feel like no one's always going to be there to help me. I'm super grateful for those who let me know that they're there for me, but I really don't like depending on people. It's just something that I've never liked. I did my makeup a little different today and I honestly love it so much. New foundation, new concealer, and all that stuff. So I'm super, actually I'm really loving it. Like That pretty much wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new and turn on your bell icon so you've been notified whenever I post a new video. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, and let me know down below in the comment section if you'd like to see more videos like this, kind of just the chit-chat, like, get ready with me videos. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. So before we get started, if you haven't already, don't forget to get... And already don't forget to... Tatiana, enunciate, enunciate, enunciate. Also, to turn on. Um. <laughs> New video. Uh. Not lady like at all. Yeah.